So now our cat is starting to take shape. He's got some grass, he's got a fiddle, and he's blue, and he's ready to go. Um, it looks a little unfinished, so I thought we would show you how to tear down these prints. What we're going to do is we're going to make some marks where the plate um, actually pressed against the paper. So it's very easy to see it's slightly raised. So now I know where the edge of the plate is, and I can put this down, and I can measure out, oh, let's say just an inch. We'll do an inch. So I'm making some marks on three sides about an inch. On the bottom side, I'm going to go slightly heavier because it's an optical illusion. When you look at a print that's been torn down equidistant all the way around, your eye wants to say, hey wait, that one's smaller. So you can fool the eye by making it just slightly bigger. So I'm going to go like, oh, an inch and three sixteenths, just to give it a little bit of a, a weighted effect. So now I have my lines drawn, my little hash marks here, and I'm going to tear against my steel ruler. So what's nice about this is now it's going to look like a finished print. And if we're lucky, those finger flubs where my, my fingers were all covered with ink, hopefully those will be gone. We'll see. So we're on our last one now, and then I'll show it to you. You just line that up with, with where you made your little marks. And there it is. We lost that, that major finger flub, but there's still a couple there. So the only thing left to do is to sign it. There it is. It's all done. And it could be framed, you know, like these here.